we are supposed to get Typhoon Yagi and I have sealed my windows with tape. <laughs> I hope it works. Look at this guys. What the hell are these people doing outside? Hey? What's up? I told you about my tata can need it. I think this is the beginning. Spent the whole night. It was just windy. And right now there's a bit of rain. A bit of windy rain. It's coming from the northwestern side of Shanghai. This past week, I learned a lot of lessons. Um, I consume a lot of podcasts. I know it's detrimental to my mental health somehow but uh, we started fully working this week and I learned a lot I learned a lot and these are some of the lessons that I have learned in my I'm only 32 so in my 32 years of life um the first lesson is trust nobody and this one my father taught it to me he told me never to trust anyone and another one is uh the grass the grass is not always green trust me the grass is not always green on the other side uh, that saying, believe it. And another thing that I learned this week when I was watching po the podcast is in life there are winning seasons where you're getting jobs, life is good, you're acquiring things. In that season, it's very important. It's very important to work smart and not to work hard. And to slow things down um, and then like there's a winning season there's also a winter season and in the winter season first I don't know how I don't think we understand how essential rest is and I'm not talking about sleeping at night I'm talking about rest like when it's time for you to rest, rest. Do not think hard about it that, oh, uh, I have lost my job or things are not going well. Take that time to rejuvenate because you've been winning for some time, right? And travel. <sighs> I personally don't think that travel should be about taking pictures or you know going to places that are touristy i think traveling should be about learning different people's cultures that's just my opinion um another thing is this one i learned from a friend two years ago i had a friend who was not afraid to kiss ass it's very important to kiss ass, but we all hold that. Do you get it? Kiss that ass because you want something, because you will get something at the end. Don't just kiss ass. And another thing is, there's nothing fair about life. Don't always be a victim of life. There is nothing fair about life. Trust and believe. There is a thing called black tax in African households. Let me say this. It's important to help family out, but not to your detriment. Do not help family to your detriment. And 
another thing that I learned this week. It's like there were many lessons this week. Another thing that I learned this week is that the sea is actually very noisy. The sea looks very good in pictures, but it is a very noisy place. The mountain, the mountains are silent. Trust your instinct. If your instinct is telling you something about somebody or something about a certain situation, trust it. And sometimes there is no reason to be logical about the steps that you want to take in life. You know, there's nothing logical about life. Life is very unpredictable. It's not logical. There's no reason for you to be logical. And this one I learned when I went back on my videos and I watched them. Be patient with yourself. Allow yourself to fail. I failed several times. I should have been part of failing and tried to learn why I failed. But yeah, and try not to follow societal norms. I know it's not hard, especially because sometimes societal norms uh, everywhere another thing is save your money I understand people like to say invest and whatnot but if you want a medical aid you can just have a separate account and just keep on putting the same amount that same amount of money that 2,000 rands that you put uh, in your medical aid every month or 4,000 or 5,000 just put it in a separate bank account there's no reason to be enriching those people and most importantly when I got back to China I said the reason why I am so unhappy it's because I have not shown gratitude. It's important to show gratitude. I said this last year to a friend who was asking me uh, how to deal with a person that has hurt them. Hurt, hurt them. And, and then I said to her, um, when you forgive somebody, you don't forgive that person for them. You forgive them for yourself because you release that tension, that grudge from your body and it relieves you of that pressure. Leave that toxic relationship. Leave that toxic work environment. Leave that toxic friendship. Leave it. Be free of it. That is my last... That is my last lesson. Lesson, not lesson. Lesson that I have learned. In my 32 years of age, good night.